Yeah, hello, young swordsman, and welcome back to the walkthrough! Let's see what path opened up for us here. It is the Wind Ruins, and here's another uh, rainbowy, flowery spot that for you to keep in mind for later. As for now, I am going to blow apart this wall. This pathway leads to the next dungeon of the game, and I'm going to explore as much of it as I possibly can until I get there. So this nice blue pinstone piece, which is in, in a very obvious location, and wait, maybe these guys are armos and the other... Hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, oh, maybe they're armos knights, these guys. I'm trying to think of the names of the enemies. Maybe I got the armos and the armos knights uh, mixed up in the... Oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> Sometimes it happens. Anyway, uh, as you can tell, this one, it doesn't have its eye lit up. And So what are we going to do about that? Hmm, let's... Let's transform and go inside that little hole. Perhaps we can find some information on what to do here. But first, I'm going to raid your house. Yeah, it's a red kinstone piece. These soldier statues here we built by the, and were built by the Minish ages ago to help humans. It's kind of a secret, but there's a switch inside that turns them on or off. Hint, hint. Now, if you look closely, you'll see that there's a little staircase on the front of them. Go up that staircase. Look at that. There's a switch. Turn it on. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I love that. So now it's active. <clears throat> active. So let's transform. And... Oh. Oh. oh, there we go. <laughs> I was waiting for that. And now it'll get out of your way. Stop that. Stop being a pain. Alright, let's push this in. Oh, lever. Random levers around this area. I don't think I need to bother with anything here right now. Oh! I do have to bother with something here. Oh, yeah, I just gotta kill them off. <laughs> Forgot about that. I thought I had to kill all of them off, but it'll, it's only the ones on that screen. My bad. Uh, let's see. Here's another buried bean, as you can tell. Uh, well, it, it doesn't look like much of a bean, but it's a, it's a bean, and believe me. <laughs> Do I need to tra- yeah, I do need to transform. Bloop. Oh, should I kill off those whips first? I'm not sure if they would respawn if I didn't. Eh. Well, I've got plenty of health, so it doesn't really matter if I take some damage, I suppose. Just sneaking right past them using my tininess. Let's turn this on. Oh, by the way, you're probably wondering why I didn't just go through the grass. You can't, it's too thick for you. <laughs> Dang it. So yeah, that's it's like a minish obstacle course with these whips, basically. Mm -hmm. oh. Aha! Yeah, you can sometimes roll past enemies. Um, just oh yeah, baby! Oh, th that reminds me. This place is a pretty good place to grind for kinstones because of all this grass, uh, like around the swamp area. So keep so keep these ruins and the pathways in mind, just so that you can. Uh, grind when you need to, and I will probably end up uh, starting to do some kinstone side quest because of the fact that uh, I don't want to start the dungeon in the next in this part because it's going to lead to an item that will cause the kinstones to be shuffled. So I'd really rather not do that if I if I can help it. Okay, so you've got another one of these um, kill all the enemy blockades here to get to those treasure chests. But here's something interesting about this one on the left. It'll always go right down there and block your way, and there's no way to get it out of your way uh, if, from the back. So what do you do about that? Well, first, you only have to kill these three in order to unlock the... Ooh, I want that! To unlock those... Uh, whatever the heck they are they're, that are blocking your way. See that? So that means that fourth one off to the far left is an unnecessary one for whatever reason to opening this up. <laughs> so what you want to do here is... Wait, if I transform, will they reset? Yes, okay. I, I thought I would have to leave and then run away. Anyway, that grass is blocking the way so you can't get through there as a minish. Now you want to flip it around by turning it off rather than leaving it on because no matter what you do, it will always run and block that opening and prevent you from progressing unless you turn it off. 
So that's a way of the game designers to reverse what you have to do in order to uh, continue on. You know, like they, like they switched the way the puzzles work, basically. Uh, the reason why I'm cutting all this stuff here is because I'm looking for all the spike, spiky beetles under the rocks enemies. They are vital to kill off in order to open that up. There we go. I guess I got them all. <laughs> and this leads up to the next dungeon, but I'm not going to be doing that in this part. But yeah, if you want to go in the dungeon now, I guess you could, but you're kind of going to have a hard time following the kinstone fusions that I'll be doing because what happens is that um, the kinstones at this point in the game, they should be where I show them if I get all the kinstones um, up to this point. Like, if I get all the kinstones before I get the item in the dungeon, they should be always in the same spots. Should be, if that's what I'm understanding from what I've read. So I could very well be wrong in my theory there, but what I'm going to end up doing here is backtracking to Hyrule Town and start my kinstone collecting, uh, collecting quests once again. Yeah, yeah, I know, you're probably tired of the Kinstone Fusions, but it's the only way that I can really make this walkthrough as comprehensive as possible. Because, as I said, this at, at this point in the game, it might this might be the only way that I can show you, like, guide you in any sort of fashion on how to do, or I should say, where the locations of Kinstone Fusions are. Uh, actually, you know what I should do? Since I have all the kinstone pieces in my possession right now, I should go fuse with Eni just to get that out of the way. Because remember, if you have the ah, if you have the PAL version of the game, uh, if you don't fuse with Eni the first time you try and fuse with him, you will not be able to fuse with him again, which is unfortunate. So, are you Eni? What's up? There, bud. Are you saying you want to match kinstone pieces? Yep, this is Eni, and he wants a blue square cutout one for me. I don't know if that's going to be different for you, but just make sure you have all eight basic pieces in there. All right, now over here, let's go on. It's going to be like, oh, I feel so much stronger now. Here we go, and he breaks through. I guess I'll show you what he's digging so that you can see what the progress is. Oh, it's about time. Looking good, though. I'm going in. But we can't get the prize at the very end of this cave until we fuse with all other required people to... Well, I should say all the required things to get the prize at the end. Because what, what happens is that they... Um, it's, it's like a multiple kinstone quest that keeps building on itself. Anyway, uh, thanks pal, I feel like a lean, mean, earth-tilling machine. Will you fuse with me? You will. Rock and roll indeed. Oh, of course you want the square tooth one, the rarest kind of the green one. Why wouldn't you want that? <laughs> oh, I don't feel like going back there now to get the chest. I really don't, so I think I'm actually not going to. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be passing through there later on in the game, but as for now, I don't really feel like that for now. If you, if I, I hope you don't mind for that. I'm tired of uh, going back and forth through stuff like that just to get chests on the fly like that, so if I ever have to catch up on chests, I will do so, but for now, I'm just going to leave it be. All right, now let's see what's inside this cave. He already made some stairs, that's amazing. <laughs> this is one solid wall. I'm going to need a few friends to give me a hand. So, oh, I can actually fuse with you. <laughs> Goron, I will fuse with you. Yeah, he's a nameless Goron, basically. And this makes... Oh, the Goron salesman, that's right. This makes another type of salesman come to Hyrule's Town Square to sell some stuff, and this guy likes to sell kinstones. It's been a long time since the last time I visited Hyrule. I think I'll set up a little place where I can sell my kinstones. And he's very slow, probably because that's a very heavy backpack, and that's where he's going to be selling his stuff. There's, There should actually be another 
salesman over there with some other stuff which I'll cover a little bit later. But for now I'm just going to be wandering around the areas to um, collect kinstones around the more out of the way places so to speak. Like for instance, uh, I, I think maybe if I, or maybe I'm thinking of something later. Syrup, whoops didn't mean to do that. I think Syrup might have a fusion. Could be wrong though. No, she doesn't. That's too bad. I just thought I would check that just to be sure. Because I wasn't sure about that myself, so I just wanted to check that just in case. Alright, let's go back around. Oh shoot. <laughs> Not there. Took the wrong path. I'm supposed to go through the shortcut lands. There we go. And oh jeez. <laughs> oh jeez. I think if I'm not mistaken, the hotel back in back at town is open right now. So maybe I will be able to um, explore that. Of course there's no light force here. What was I thinking? Stupid, stupid. So the guards are wandering around the place looking for the quote-unquote light force that the king wants because they were uh, forcefully ordered to do so and I'll, I guess I'll start from the bottom and work my way up through the hotel let's go in here yep it's open hi there and welcome to the happy hearth need a rest kid? well we can take care of that and even throw in a present to moot uh, depending on how much you pay uh, you depends on what kind of prize you get. You can get some pretty good prizes from this, but I'll cover that a little bit later on, I think. Because I don't really have the rupees to burn at this point in time. I just want to show you uh, what's uh, what's around here. These are uh, all the different rooms here. This is the master suite that you get when you get when you pay uh, 400 rupees. Here, I think that's like the medium room, and this is like the, the shanty, the yeah, minimum room. All right, let's go up here, and you'll notice that there's two boxes at the corner of the room and a locked door. Mm, perhaps we will find out about those later. Hey, what do you know about the Life Force stuff? People are saying it's some kind of treasure that can grant you any wish. Anyway, not the king's in a big huff trying to find it. It's strange, though. He never struck me as the greedy type before. It's almost like he's a different person now. Hmm. Oh, wait, I forgot to check people if they have uh, kinstone fusions down here. Yeah. Eh, no, I guess not. <laughs> Just thought I would check that to be sure, you never know. It's difficult for me to memorize every single one of them. Can I talk to the kids? Wait! Yay, yay! Wait, that girl wanted the fuse. That girl wanted the fuse. Hey, wait up! Yes, stop moving so we can fuse kinstones. Candy. Yay! And... Watch this. Terraforming abilities, go! Those kinstones really are powerful. <laughs> and you know where that spot is, but we still can't access that without being able to swim, so that's gonna have to wait until later. Uh, over here in this room, there's a little, there's an interesting little diversion of sorts. Um, we need to find a nice, quiet place where we can settle down. It's so nice to be here at last, and such a big town it is. Staying in this inn forever would start to be a bother. So they're travelers, and don't they look very familiar? Well, they are exactly who you think they are if you've played other Zelda games, and they they are a part of a sort of limited side quest of sorts. You can get charms from them, but I don't think I'm capable of doing that right now, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, I'll just open up yet. Oh, I don't know the... F values of these things offhand, but I will buy this just to show you what it is because this is what I'm gonna going to be primarily using to get kinstones. Why, hello there! Thanks for stopping by! This is Beetle, by the way. Yeah, Beetle was actually in the GBA game. I sell all kinds of pickle light. Sound familiar? I just put it in your bottle and good stuff happens when you drink it! So... Oh, I got... Well, I don't need the fairy. <laughs> So I'm going to pick this up. Oh, that white pickle light is for people who want to get lucky. It makes it easier for you to find kinstone pieces. Care to buy it? It's 200 rupees. Care to buy some? Yes, I will. And this is what I want. Oh, yes. And it really does what it says it does. And it's very much worth the price if you don't like grinding for hours. <laughs> 
Um, the rest of these, this red one here, there, there's a total of six, and but I won't be able to get all the all of them in place until later. This is the red picolite. It makes it easier to find hearts. Kind of useless because hearts are really common. This green one is for mysterious shells. Also kind of useless because you find shells quite often. Um, something interesting about this is that in the PAL regions of the game, the prices of these vary. Like in the US and Japan versions of the game, they are always 200 rupees each. But stuff like the white picolite will be 100 rupees. I don't know them all offhand, but I guess I'll cover them later once I get all the bottles filled. But I'm just ma making a mention of that right now. So uh, even though that you, you pal people have more glitches that prevent you from fully 100%ing the game than I have, I'm kind of jealous that you have a much, much cheaper white picolite bottle, be um, I mean white picolite price, because watch how effective this is. I'm going to clear the enemies out first, and then you're going, you're going to see uh, kinstone grinding like you've never seen before. Using this will transform the color, no, oh, well, I guess not, I thought, oh, I'm thinking of something else. Okay, easy to find kinstone pieces like you've never seen before. <laughs> and I was thinking of something else that changes the color of your clothing, but keep cutting grass while you have the chance before it runs out and... Oh, that's kind of sad actually. Oh, I probably should have went through uh, a um, more grassy area, but I guess I got really unlucky there. But as you've seen, even during that short amount of time, I still managed to get a bunch of kinstone pieces from it, so I guess my luck there wasn't all that good, but definitely, I definitely recommend using that for getting kinstone pieces, especially when I'm going to be showing you a little money trick later on that'll net you unlimited money. But I realize that I've rambled on for quite a long time here because it's like 17 minutes into the part. <laughs> so I think it's a good time to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next part.